Astronomy Events August 2022 Planets, Asteroids, and Meteors August is one of the best night months of the year for astronomical events. This is primarily due to the Perseids, arguably the best meteor shower of the year. But the Perseids aren't the only thing worth seeing in the night sky this month. The August night sky has plenty else to see. Let's jump into the astronomical events in the August night sky. Here are all the planets, asteroids, and meteors you can mark on your calendar for some epic stargazing this month. August 1st, conjunction of Mars and Uranus. August kicks off with a chance to use Mars as a guide to spotting distant ice giant Uranus. In the early morning hours of August 1st, Mars and Uranus will be in conjunction and have a close approach, appearing 1 degrees 22 apart at their closest. This means you can use your telescope or binoculars with a star finder, blue Uranus in the far reaches of the solar system. As you might have inferred, you will need equipment to spot these two as Uranus is virtually unseeable with the unaided eye. August 4th, C-2017 K2, Pan Stars, at its brightest. If you're looking to pull out your telescope again in August, the 4th is another great night. Instead of planet gazing, you can spot Comet C-2017 K2, Pan Stars, when it reaches its brightest. After passing at its closest to Earth in July, C-2017 K2, Pan Stars, is now moving further away, but will be well aligned to catch the light of the Sun and appear brightly to observers. Look for it in the constellation Scorpius. August 11th, Conjunction of the Moon and Saturn. As we approach the full moon, there are a series of good astronomical events, an unfortunate combination in August, to be sure. Starting on the night of the full moon, the moon and Saturn will be in conjunction and appear close together around midnight local time. At their closest, they'll be 3 degrees 54 apart in the sky, and you should easily be able to spot both without any equipment. However, the moon will be bright and may make it difficult to spot Saturn clearly if you're using a telescope or binoculars, especially if you live in a place with pollution or high humidity. August 12th, peak of the Perseid meteor shower. If you love the night sky, you already know what makes the night of August 12th so special. It's the peak of the Perseids. The Perseids meteor shower peaks every year in mid-August. In 2022, this peak is expected to occur in the early morning hours of August 12th. At its peak, you can expect to see up to 150 meteors per hour. This, combined with warm weather in the northern hemisphere, makes it the most popular meteor shower of the year. The Perseids meteor shower is caused when the Earth passes through a stream of debris left by the comet 109P Swift Tuttle. Swift Tuttle has a 133-year orbital period, but we experience a yearly meteor shower due to variations in the Earth's orbit and width of the debris stream. To spot the Perseids, look for them radiating from a point in the northeastern sky. Like two years ago, the moon will be very bright and nearly full this night, so it's best to plan your meteor viewing earlier in the night before the moon fully rises. August 12th, Full Sturgeon Moon. The sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names such as the Sturgeon Moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. Over the nights following 12th of August, the moon will rise around an hour later each day, becoming prominent later in the night. Within a few days, it will only be visible in the pre-dawn and early morning sky. By the time it reaches last quarter, a week after full moon, it will rise in the middle of the night and set at around noon. Throughout history a great variety of different names have been given to the sequence of lunar cycles through the year. August 14th, Saturn at Opposition. August starts off quietly, but with one major astronomical event worth seeing, Saturn will be in opposition on the night of August 14th. What does this mean? For those not familiar with the term, it means that Saturn will be directly opposite from the Sun in the sky, or that the Earth is exactly lined up with the Sun on one side and Saturn on the other. 
This means that from our perspective on the night of the first, Saturn in the night sky will be brightly illuminated by the sun shining on the Earth's daytime side. It's a great night to try and see Saturn. The moon will be 86% illuminated on this night, so be sure to check a night sky app to understand where the moon will be before you pull out your telescope or astronomical binoculars to try and spot Saturn and its lovely rings. August 15th, conjunction of the moon and Jupiter. It's hard to believe how far apart Jupiter and Saturn are in the night sky, after their great conjunction just over 18 months ago. Whereas these two planets used to have conjunctions with the moon in close succession, they're now occurring several nights apart. As Saturn has already taken its turn in August, it's now Jupiter's time to have close approach in the night sky. August 15th, Mercury at its evening peak. After its morning peak in June near the Grand Alignment, Mercury has now swung around to the other side of its orbit and is rising to its highest in the evening sky. On August 15th, it will reach its evening peak, staying 9 degrees above the western horizon after the sun sets. While this isn't as high as other orbits based on our angle of viewing, it's still an opportunity to spot our tiny solar system neighbor. August 18th peak of the Kappa Cygnid meteor shower. The second meteor shower, in August will occur on the night of August 18th. On this night, you can look for the peak of the Kappa Cygnid meteor shower, at a rate of roughly 3 meteors per hour. This meteor shower is not as bombastic as the Perseids, a few days earlier, and the moon will still be about 50% illuminated on this night. To spot Kappa Cygnid meteors, look for the constellations of Draco, near Cygnus, with its distinctive cross asterism. On the 18th, Kappa Cygnid meteors will appear to radiate from this area, of the sky, high above the northeastern horizon. Please be aware that there's also another lunar occultation of Uranus, on the night of August 18th, but it will be visible only across the North Pacific Ocean. If you're in Hawaii, you might be able to spot it. August 19th, conjunction of the Moon and Mars, Rounding out the series of planetary conjunctions this month, the Moon and Mars will appear close in the sky, on the morning of August 19th. On this day, the Moon is close to its third quarter phase, and will be great if you want to pull out a telescope, or binoculars to observe, the Terminator as well as Mars a bit more closely. At their closest, the two will appear 2 degrees 41 apart in the constellation Taurus. August 22nd, Asteroid 4 Vesta at opposition. Finally, let's round out August with an asteroid viewing opportunity. In the morning hours of August 22nd, Asteroid 4 Vesta will be at opposition, and brightly lit by the Sun, sitting on the other side of Earth from it. 4 Vesta is one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt, measuring some 326 miles, 525 kilometers, across on average. As such, you don't need high-powered stargazing equipment, to view Vesta. A pair of standard binoculars is more than enough, to see this not quite dwarf planet in the main asteroid belt. August 29th, Mercury at greatest elongation, east. Mercury will reach its greatest separation from the Sun, in its July to September 2022 evening apparition. It will be shining brightly at mag 0.2. Mercury will fade rapidly towards the end, of the apparition as it heads towards inferior conjunction, when it will pass between the Earth and Sun. At inferior conjunction, the planet turns its unilluminated side towards the Earth, and so appears as a thin, barely illuminated crescent. Hope you will enjoy the August 2022 astronomy events. If you enjoyed watching the video, do give us a like, also share the same with astronomy lovers. And subscribe to our channel, Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.